What is going on, collectives? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in. Let's see what the universe has in store for you guys. Let's see what the universe wants you to know at this time and pay attention to. So I ask my Archangel Michael and the leg walk to protect me as I channel this energy for you guys I ask my whole spiritual team protect my mind my body and my spirit and my vessel as i connect with my gods all right the four of pentacles all right so somebody could be going through a loss or financial hardship somebody could be really really holding on to their money very tight Okay, somebody trying to think about how they're going to get money, the money that they have, they're very, they're, they're tight with it, all right, and I see with the five of cups, they went through some type of big, somebody hit a very big financial loss, all right, that may be very challenging for someone right now, especially as adults, you know, um, but somebody hit a very a very, very big hit when it came to their finances. All right. I don't know why did I just hear that, but somebody may be even considering pawning their like furs and shit like that. That's how probably somebody is, um, you know, scraping for money right now. But this is, a, I'm getting a very financial uh, a hit. To somebody's finances. Even the resources. Even. Thank you spirit. So the four of pentacles. Could speak about an inheritance. Right. That's why you see. Thank you spirit. So stop. Empress. You can have a lot of distractions around you too. My damn dudes. Alright. But the four of pentacles. Sometimes can mean. That you just receive a uh, inheritance from a family. Like you you own all of this behind you. You know what I'm saying? You got your money. You got everything. You swarming in money. So somebody could have been expecting a uh, inheritance. Right? Somebody leaving you property. Somebody leaving you the rest of their stuff. That's what the four of pentacles sometimes. So somebody could have hit a hard hit when it came to that, that not happening. So now... Somebody is forced to hold on to the money that they have. All right. Somebody has been praying. Somebody has been praying. Um, For some of you guys, you could be recovering. The Four of Swords sometimes speaks about recovery. So you could be recovering. Um, this could have been definitely an inheritance from somebody in your family that has transitioned or, you know, I see a church, I see like a casket. All right. But if it's not that y'all praying, somebody praying for a way out, somebody praying for a way, a way out. Spirit, tell me more about this energy and what the collective needs to know. Somebody um been going to church. Okay, I see the church stuff right here. Somebody's been going to church. I, so, shit, justice. So, a decision was made. All right, or a decision is about to be made. Damn. And on the bottom of the deck, the nine of fucking swords, the decision that has been made or is about to be made somebody is worried about it somebody cannot sleep at night thinking about this decision this could be definitely something involving an inheritance or some type of big um payout that you was going to get from the justice system and somebody worrying that that shit is not coming true well all these swords With all of these swords, somebody is fearing the work. Somebody intuitively feel like the the case is not going to go in their favor. And now, that's why they're in a four of pentacles energy. Alright, this could definitely be something like that was supposed to be a decision 
made on somebody else's behalf to leave you something all right and literally somebody anxiety about this is sky high all right this is involving a relationship this may be somebody may be feeling like their relationship is on a line okay this could be involving somebody and somebody that they love all right but somebody is worried okay somebody is worried with that hermit somebody there could be some high officials investigating this Okay, this could even be prison. For some of you guys, this could even be prison. You hear me? With the bunk, you know, in the um, cage. All right, in the cell. Okay, literally. Somebody somebody is in, 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 in some stuff. All right, that's, that's stressing them out. That they're very, very worried about. Um, and it's a partnership involved. Somebody could be worried about their partnership or partnerships. All right. Yeah. Um, their wish. All right. So, yeah. Somebody, y'all. Somebody is worried about somebody, first of all, being fulfilled somewhere else if this does not fall through. All right. That got them very worried and in a state of anxiety. All right. There's there. somebody is worried that they're going to seek out other options. All right. But what they don't know that with this eight of cups energy, somebody is actually being guided away from this. Somebody may have, have even be, been freed based off of the decision that was made. Maybe somebody knew that the money wasn't coming and they were just waiting for the decision to say no. And that way they can leave. All right, um, but wow. Spirit, tell me more about this energy. All right, the Ten of Cups. Somebody, family is at risk. What they wanted is at risk. Maybe they 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 had high hopes into receiving this income or this payout or this lump sum to start um, a family. Or a new life. Okay. But let me tell you. Money can't solve your problems. And if you got to go to that extent. To feel. Um, like you got to do this for money. Alright. Look. The will of fortune in reverse. This is a bad decision. This was a risk. That was not. The, was That was not worth. The outcome. Alright. This was a risk. Somebody put a lot at line. Somebody put their family on the line all right somebody literally put their family in jeopardy or their happiness thank you spirit somebody put their happiness in jeopardy because of the risk that they took all right and it was it was it was the the, 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 the risk that they took was from a state of passion and greed with this devil it's like the devil got him got him where they wanted him all right and this 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 pursuit of this inheritance or this money or this gift or this payout that was going to be rewarded by the courts they just risked their whole happiness they just risked their wish fulfillment they just possibly risk uh, a family and um fulfillment and what they thought all right this is this is bad luck All right, choices. Seven of Cups is choices. Oh my gosh, it's the end. It is the end of ideas, choices, options, opportunities. The doors are closed. Okay, it is an end. This is a very tough ending that someone is experiencing right now. It is nothing that they could do no more. It is a, a, a end. All right. The, 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 the decision did not go in their favor. And now they feel stuck and they know that something is ended. All right. Um, let's see.
I'm hearing it was all good just a week ago. So this could have happened suddenly. Shit could have just been all good a week ago, and then now y'all got the y'all got the determination. Y'all got the results that y'all needed to see, and it wasn't it. All right, keeping calm. Somebody is meditating. Somebody is not overreacting or trying not to overreact. Okay? But they can't. Somebody is trying to keep calm, but they cannot. They cannot. They are dealing with a lot of stress right now. They're going through a, they feel like they're going through a mental breakdown right now. All right? They might be on some type of meds. Okay? That might be causing their emotions to spiral out of control. Okay, they're just, they're just, they're just reflecting really, really on their dreams right now and how they may have fumbled their career, their life based off of one wrong risk and decision that they made. Okay. All right. Forgiveness. They might be wanting forgiveness. They might be wanting forgiveness from whoever that they did this to. All right. Whatever that was done, they might be wanting forgiveness. They might know that they was wrong for doing something. Okay. They might just want a hug. They might just want somebody on their side. They might feel like they back. They done did so much that nobody's on their side. They might just want a hug. They might just want forgiveness. It says forgiveness. They might need forgiveness for a lot of shit that they've done and risked. And they, for some of you guys, they might want forgiveness from family. This might be involved family. I'm not talking about a romantic relationship. I'm talking about your actual family. They might did their family wrong. All right. They might try. They might have tried to win at all costs with this legal situation. And they did their family wrong. All right. And they just want forgiveness from their family for some of you guys. All right, yeah, somebody's out the door. All right? Somebody reevaluated this relationship and seen what was going on. Okay? And somebody somebody opened the door. Somebody opened the door collectives. All right? Somebody might not even be wanting to forgive depending on what lines were crossed. Somebody tired, somebody, people probably are tired of hearing the excuses. Okay, reconciliation. So for some of you guys, this person caused a lot of unnecessary wedges in between a lot of people's connection. So I think this is bigger than just romantic. I think that there's a lot of reconciliations when it comes to people knowing what was going on and who had a lot of influence when it came to people being at odds with one another. All right, yeah, heartbreak on a devastation on a whole new level. This person hurt a lot of people, but I'm not talking about like that. I'm talking about really fuck people over like she, this, this, um... Well, I'm seeing this. That's why I said she. But he, she, all right, whatever. Okay? They hurt a lot of people. They hurt a lot of people, all right, by taking this risk. Okay? They hurt a lot of people. They, they've caused heartbreaks and devastations on a whole new level. All right? There's a lot of love surrounding people now, you know, Speaking their truth and now speaking up and forgiving. Let's get one more card and we're going to close out this reading. Damn, two more cards. All right. Yeah. So right now, so this is in reverse. So focus, obsessed, only eyes for you. Somebody doesn't feel like that no more. Somebody doesn't feel obsessed about a situation no more. Somebody doesn't feel 
like they have eyes only for somebody no more. They don't. They don't. So this could be a relationship. This two of cups energy where maybe this is now affecting their romantic relationship where the partner is just feeling weighed down. Feeling like they got the world on their backs. Or they could be feeling like this. All right. Look, legal. What I said. Legal. They didn't win the case, baby. They did not win it. All right. They did not win this case. All right. So that's what I have for you guys, y'all. Child. All right. Somebody then took a risk that enriched their whole entire destiny. And when I mean destiny, I mean family. And they did a lot of betrayal and backstabbing and very hurtful things. Like, you know, it's one thing for somebody to talk about you. But it's one thing to, like, do something like that. You be you not even hurt. You more disappointed. That's what they, they was doing. And, and their family. You know what I'm saying? To people that they were supposed to be looking out for. You know? And I feel like they are also very remorseful. After the verdict or the justice didn't go in their favor. I feel like they now are realizing, damn, I really fucked up. Like, I really risk, like, my family doing something to my family. Like, that I should have never did. Okay? So, I love you guys and I hope that helped.